Hi friends, this is Bilal Haider and in this video part we are going to learn um, about how you can code uh, candlestick patterns uh, into an EA like uh, you are going to make an EA which will uh, be sitting on your chart and you will be coding some patterns in that EA that whenever that EA finds out those patterns um, it will alert you and it will tell you that uh, this specific pattern has been formed and um, then based on that pattern you can decide uh, whether you will place a buy trade or sell trade or whatever okay so um, for now in this uh, video part uh, actually I already have created uh, that year and uh, In this video part, um, I will just I will just explain you how you can add more uh, some more patterns in in that EA. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and show you my code in here. So this was this is the code where I have embedded like um, 22 patterns. Okay, and um, we'll add some more patterns below here. Okay. So we'll write some if conditions for that and uh, we'll add more patterns in, in that year. So currently it has like uh, 22 patterns. So whenever it finds out um, from any of those 22 patterns, it alerts us that it has found this pattern on this chart. Okay. So anyways. Okay. Well, this EA which uh, which I have made in here, it has uh, some limitations. Like, uh, it it actually um, um, detects up to three candles. Okay, if you have a pattern which is uh, containing three candles, or two candles, or only one candle, then this EA will be useful for you. Okay, so. Um, First, I will go ahead and um, show you uh, if you have only one candle and you are detecting, uh, you are uh, telling your EA to find out that candle and whenever it is formed, you just inform me. So for only one candle, okay, we are going to make this code. Okay. <coughs> To um, to actually code this um, this pattern in in our EA, we need to find out some statistics which we are having on our chart. Okay, so I will take one example from uh, from from this chart, and then I will explain you how you can code it. So now we are considering only one candle. Okay, so let me find out uh, a candle. Um, okay let's say we are we want a candle like this okay can you see this this is uh, this bearish candle okay we are going to uh, tell our ea that whenever it finds a candle like this uh, it should be a bearish candle and it should have a body greater than uh, both of its higher and lower wicks okay i call them wicks uh, you can call them shadows or whatever so whenever uh, it finds a bearish candle with a body greater than its upper and lower wicks it should alert us so how how we how we how will be coding it in our EA that's what I'm going to tell you here okay so for this we have to uh, consider this uh, these statistics okay we are on this candle so this will be uh, the statistics which are shown here right here uh, these st statistics are of this candle okay and these statistics are of this candle and these statistics are of this candle so we are currently we are considering only this candle so we'll take these values and we'll embed it in our code okay so now let me go ahead and tell you how how you have to code it so 
<coughs> you just write you go ahead and write if can if and um, these brackets and under this under these uh, brackets we will write our condition for it so we are saying that okay uh, we want this candle whenever this uh, um, a candle of this type is formed on our chart it should alert us and draw a, a down arrow on on that chart okay okay now first of all we have to check if our c1 c1 we are referring we are using c1 for for our can of for our this candle okay so if you are coding one candle uh, then you will use c1 uh, if you are uh, making a pattern uh, that is consisting of two candles then we will use c1 and c2 if we are looking for a cat for a pattern which is uh, include which includes three candles then we will use c1 c2 c3 okay but for now let's stick to c1 now we have to tell our code that if c1 is false uh, c1 false mean it is a bearish candle okay and we use this uh, this these double ampersand sign to uh, tell our ea that if the if that candle is bearish and now we have to code these percentages okay uh, I already made a function which I called a check pattern and we have to pass it uh, we have to pass it uh, like uh, one two three four five values okay so the first value we'll pass is the upper distance currently we see that uh, or this candle this one has upper distance of 10 so we'll pass this value um, as our first argument the second argument we need to pass is the is the body's percentage okay so we'll go back on the chart and we'll find the body percentage that is 76 we'll write a value something um, we can write 76 but um, let's say for this uh, example we pass like 75 okay you don't need to pass the exact values I mean I'm passing 10 in here you can pass like 8 9 10 okay so uh, basically you're telling that um, telling this code that uh, it should not be exactly 10 percent upper uh, upper percentage should be exactly 10 percent but it can be like 8 percent 9 percent so you are basically telling your EA that uh, with slightly different percentage you still count that candle okay so um, now we have passed in our body percentage now the uh, third percentage will pass is the lower percentage that is 12 point something will pass in like uh, 10 okay the next thing will pass is 1 when you're when we are using like only one candle we're considering only uh, a pattern which is consisting only one candle then we will write one in this the fourth argument will be one okay and uh, the last argument which will pass is this variable c1 okay so we'll just write uh, c1 in here and i will close this bracket and now we'll just go ahead and draw arrow and up sorry down and we'll pass one okay so this is all um now we'll minimize it and we'll stop it and we'll start it once again and let's see if it draws uh, an arrow there or not it will take a while for us to uh, for this to reach at that point but let's wait and see
so actually we have um, we have got this arrow here this was that candle which we were trying to form I mean which we were looking after like whenever a pattern like this is formed uh, we want an arrow to be drawn on the chart and also we want some uh, some kind of alert uh, well this market currently it's offline so we are testing it with this strategy tester in here so when we will be testing it uh, in a live market then it will surely uh, give us an alert for this also so I hope I make it uh, understandable for one candle now let's go ahead and do it for two candles I think I will continue in the next video uh, I'll make another part for this and in that video part I will discuss uh, about how you can code um, code a pattern which is having uh, which is consisting of two candles okay so see you in the next part